Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. Thank you so much for being here. Please, if you don't mind, hit the like button. And if it resonates, the reading, or if you just enjoy it, subscribe. Hit that notification so you know when I'm releasing a new video. Wow, the devil. <laughs> now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that there was uh, a lot of codependency stuff that kept coming up. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see here. Some cards for Gemini. So thanks for bearing with me. If you've been with me before, you know, I'm moving and I'm having internet issues. And uh, well, it hasn't been fun. But it's been a learning experience, I'll tell you that. <gasps> the star could be dealing with an Aquarian. Could be getting a lot of attention. With the devil card, you kind of got to wonder, is it good attention or bad attention? I don't know. Or maybe you're getting attention from an Aquarian. Oh. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Told you, whenever it has to do with me, I kind of go, wait, what? <laughs> Have that revelation again. Let's see here. Card for Gemini. Possibly getting attention from Aquarius. Oh my goodness gracious. The Two of Cups, Two of Chalices, mirroring, mirroring, you know what that means, right? Yeah. Yes, it does. So we're going to read the book because I can't help myself. Union, partnership, connection, falling in love at first sight, harmony, love, feeling in love, kindred spirit, attraction, romance. I like the way this week is going. <laughs> Now, granted, though, that the devil, the devil card makes me wonder, you know, got to be careful because although this is, you know, possibly a love connection with an Aquarian or getting attention from an Aquarian, it's the question is, is it, I don't know, we're going to have to clarify that devil card. Why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about working hard at what you enjoy. So, <laughs> it could mean that this person is uh, works a lot. Let's see. Clarify again. Add to the Eight of Pentacles for the Devil card. What are we going to add to that? Queen of Swords. So, that could be us, Gemini, right? Queen of Swords. She's the one who gives you the uh, the uh, truthful answer, whether you like it or not. Don't ask her if you don't want it, <laughs> because she's going to give it to you. And the Eight of Pentacles is working hard. So to me, it could mean that the Devil card is here to say that although you could be getting attention from the Aquarius, who is possibly your, uh, the person you're meant to be with, the person who you guys mirror one another, it could be a little difficult due to work. Let's see here. Some more for Gemini. Actually, I want to know more about the star card in this Two of Cups deal. Tell us more about this person. Wow. Ace of Cups. Wow. You know, I, I couldn't have made this up if I wanted to. I mean, wow. Wow, I'm surprised. Ace of Cups, relationship, peace, love, healing, grace, creativity, joy, overwhelming emotions, intuition, affection. So, so this person is feeling affectionate now. The Ace of Cups to me would be a very big deal. So if you know who this person is, this to me is things moving forward. In whatever way that means to you. Two of Swords. It's a choice. So if they ask a question, do you want to go out with them? Do you want to go on a date with them? This, it's a choice. The Two of Swords is about needing to make a decision. So you have to decide. There's two possibilities here. What do you want to, what's your decision? Say, so yeah. 
needing to make a decision, insufficient data, lack of facts, denial, feeling conflicted, head and heart in opposition. So for some of you, not for all of you, you may not be sure of this attention, of this person's attention. You may be thinking twice about it, but the cards are saying you need to make a decision. The sun. <laughs> I said you need to make a decision. Yeah, the sun. All the good stuff. Now, Gemini, because I can't help myself and you know that. The sun. You know what the sun is, right? The sun is seeing things clearly. By the light of the sun, we can see clearly and make sense of the world. How appropriate that it would come right after the Two of Swords. By the light of the sun, the world comes alive. The sun gives us energy, vitality, and joy. Keywords are happiness, joy, fun, optimism, enthusiasm, glory, clarity, success, good fortune. I mean, there's all these awesome things, greatness, life. I mean, making this decision, I don't know, it sounds like a no-brainer to me. So, I think, that, so, let me see. So, yeah, let's see what we got coming out now because, oops, sorry about that. I was thinking something. Six of Pentacles, finding balance. You might be very different, you know. I've been noting, and this card is really, really, really shows me that there's one who is giving and one that is, I want to say hoarding, but you may be very different people and have very different outlooks, but you can work together. I really think this is one of those relationships that maybe outwardly it's not obvious, you know, but I would say that there's possibilities here. There's <laughs> really possibilities. Wow. Really possibilities. Little confusion, little indecision, which is the two of swords. Seven of Cups just reiterates that. Did the card just flip? Did I did a card just flip in there? Or did I like not see that right? I guess it didn't flip. Hmm. So let's give Gemini's one more card. You know. Whoop. Ha. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Look at that. The four of wands. This is that divine relationship. This is having a party. And I was thinking, how will they know? So, I don't know. Going camping with anybody? <laughs> Not the most normal thing to ask. Fire? Wands? Kitty cat? I don't know. Wow. Four of wands. So, how will we know this person? Besides the fact that they may be Aquarius. Maybe you don't know that they're an Aquarian or they have Aquarius in their chart. How you know? Four of Cups. How will you know? Four of Cups. Discontent, dissatisfaction, ennui, boredom, lack of gratitude, depression, resisting change, stagnation, lack of inspiration. You will know because you're going to feel all those things. It's by choosing this person I feel that things move forward. You're stagnating. You're not moving forward. This poison, this poison, this poison. Oh my goodness. This person, I think, is, is more than just a person. I think they stand for a lot of other things. There you go. The chariot. Yep. They do stand for a lot of things. I think that what this is talking about, if you notice that it takes two to hold that baby up there, up there. So this chariot card, it says the secret is that opposing forces hold within themselves the seed of its opposite and that they cannot exist without the other. Understanding that makes controlling the forces easier. And I was just talking about outside. These two don't necessarily look like they belong together, but they work together well. The key words are drive, ambition, control, Direction, determination, success, victory, travel. Pro There's so many good words here. Movement forward. So this to me is reiterating the fact that what I was saying that outwardly they may not look like they belong together like you and this person. But this person and you can work together. 
and things can be very successful. This relationship can be successful. Oh my gosh, can this relationship be successful? Ten of Cups. A con contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trust to worthy relationships. I don't know about you, Gemini, but boy, a trustworthy relationship. That is hard to come by nowadays. And this, this is that. This is that. Wow. I can't remember what your love reading was like or our love reading was like, but this is, this is awesome. <laughs> really awesome. I just wish it wasn't so late so I could call somebody and say something. <laughs> Hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. The sun card, remember? We've got the ace of chalices, the two of chalices, the sun card. I, I mean, the ten of cups. We've got it all. It just may not look like it yet. So stay positive. Remember your free will. And uh, good luck. May we all find our happiness. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Gemini. Bye.